In this chapter, we'll dive right into using Snow Leopard by using one of the most important aspects of Snow Leopard, the Finder. After that, we'll explore the Home folder and I'll show you how we can utilize the Home folder to organize files and folders within it. Let's dive in and get our feet wet using Snow Leopard. In this lesson, I'd like to introduce you to the Finder. The Finder is the main user interface component in OS X that allows you to interact with your computer at all. Without the Finder, it would be very difficult for you to get your job done. We'd be relegated to a cryptic code-based method of navigating our computer. So, if you're looking at your computer now, in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that the Finder is currently the active application. And the Finder is one of those programs that is seen but not heard. Uh, you really don't have to open it, you don't have to launch it, unless of course you might happen to run into a problem at some point where you would relaunch the Finder. However, for the most part, the minute you boot your computer, the Finder is active. Now the Finder is composed of a couple areas that you're going to be looking at, and the main section is the desktop, and that's the, the main area that you see when you're looking at your computer. You can store files on there, which is where our project files are currently being stored and we also have a menu bar and that's this bar that runs across the top of your screen it is where we access menus for the finder as well as other areas that allow us to access different components in this case we're looking at our Bluetooth icon and our airport icon as well as our sound icon and spotlight if you don't have any of these icons don't worry they are going to be somewhat specific to the computer that you're using. Finally, at the very bottom, we have the dock. And the dock is basically a, a quick way of accessing applications, folders, and files that you use on your computer. And we'll be discussing the dock in much more detail in a future lesson. But for now, simply understand that the Finder is where we're going to be doing most of our work and where you'll be interacting with your computer from here going forward.